بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از مائی تھرڈ لیکچر آن گوگل ڈیٹا اسٹوڈیو اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کنیکٹ ڈیٹا فرام گوگل شیٹ ٹو گوگل ڈیٹا اسٹوڈیو دا فرسٹ تھنگ وی نیڈ ٹو ڈو از ٹو میک لاگ ان ان آور گوگل کروم اینڈ وی نیڈ ٹو گو ٹو دا گوگل ویب سائٹ اینڈ رائٹ ہیئر گوگل ڈیٹا اسٹوڈیو When you click here, you will see there are links for the Google Data Studio. You can click any of these to go to the Google Data Studio interface. So this is the help center of Data Studio. We will click here. We will go to the Data Studio here. As you can see, there are many reports existing reports are shown here if we need to modify any of the report we have to click here any of the report or if we need to make a new report in our case we will make a new report a blank report we will click on that this interface will appear these are all the data sources which we can connect to the data studio like google analytics google ads google sheets bigquery we can upload a file campaign manager either on facebook twitter linkedin we can manage here cloud spanner uh, there are many things we can do google uh, youtube analytics but in our case we are going to import our data or we are going to connect the google sheets data with our google data studio so we will click here we will be having here all the items okay from our google sheets the work we have done in our last lecture we make a report of a b c d company report we need to click on it we had created in our last report the raw data of the mom branch the raw data of jidda branch the mom branch sorted data jidda branch sorted data and total of two branches as you can see here google sheets if you open it go to google sheets and this was our data which we discuss in our last lecture this was the raw data then we have sorted out this data in this form which will be understandable for the google data studio then this one and we combine these two branches total here in this total of two branches here so what we are going to do here we are going to select total of two branches make sure you have to select the correct workbook if you need to get the good result if you need to get the data visualization in the charts you have to select the correct workbook then you need to click on add we need to click here you are about to add data to this report so we will click here add to report this is the interface of the report we will delete this okay we want to check our resource data either it is in a good form or not we will go here resource manage added data source this is the data which we imported from the google sheets we will click here on edit here are the fields branch date expense profit and revenue you can see here branch date revenue expenses and profit so all columns are appearing here which we have imported from google sheets so the type of these the branch type it has to be text not the other one city it should be text format date format is date format and the other columns are number formats or the currency formats 
make sure you have to choose the right format here in order to complete your data visualization in the report which we, we are going to make in our next lecture so we have sorted out the column formats you can see here the branch is text date is date format and the expense profit and revenue are the number number or the currency format so we will click here on done we will close here and here we go we are ready to insert the charts in our next lecture I will show you that how we will use these charts how we will use the time series chart so stick with me for the next lecture that will be going to very interesting inshallah and don't forget to subscribe my channel because the videos which I will upload will reach you timely have a nice day thank you very much and goodbye